Hey there, students. Here goes a video on variation. Now, this video is going to cover three different types of variation. It's going to cover direct, inverse, and joint. Now, they're all going to have something in common, and that's k, which is known as the constant of variation. So, in every one of these equations, k is your constant. Now, the y, x, z could be any letters. It could be a and b or p and q. The variation could be anything, but k is going to be our constant. Okay, so direct variation, y is equal to k times x, but how we would read that would be y varies directly with x. So if we have y equals, that's y varies. And directly with x would, means k times x. The next one we have y varies inversely with x. That means it's going to be k divided by x. Notice k is on top. Our constant is always going to be on top. Finally, jointly would be z varies jointly with x and y. Now, when we have more than one or a joint type of variation, it could be directly with x and inversely with y. We can have multiple things happen with jointly, as you'll see in a little while. Okay, so those are the three different types. So now we have to practice being able to identify them. So are these direct, inverse, or none? What you need to do is make sure that you have your constant on top as a numerator and one variable by itself. Now for this, it really doesn't matter if you get x by itself or y by itself because we're just looking to figure out what kind of a variation it is. Okay, so let's check it out. Um, we have two on the same side, so why don't we just move one of them? So let's divide both sides by x. And we have y is equal to 5 over x. So k over x is known as inverse. Okay, so you can't have the two variables by themselves. And the second one. Remember what I also said, k has to be in the numerator, not in the denominator. So we're going to multiply both sides by 5, and we're going to have y is equal to 5x. 5 times x, or k times x, is direct. This one is none, because we didn't have any variations that had a plus or a minus sign in them, so that guy is none. And this one is also going to be inverse. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you have x or y by itself. If you wanted to get y by itself, you could. You can multiply both sides by y, and that gives you xy equals 4. And then you divide both sides by x, and you still have y is equal to 4 over x. So it doesn't matter, okay? So that's how you identify with an equation if it's direct, inverse, or none. Now this is just some practice with writing a variation equation. So we already talked about what these mean. Why don't you just pause the video and try to write these by yourself and see if you come up with the correct equations. Remember, k will be in all of them and you only write k once. k only occurs once in each equation. All right, give it a try. So y varies directly with z. y varies means y equals. Directly is multiplication, so you should have y equals kz. Y, or x varies inversely with y, so x equals. Inversely is divided by, so k over y. Z varies jointly with m squared and n, so z varies. And then we have k, m squared, n. And finally, the last one. This is one of those multi-step ones where you have y varies directly with x squared and inversely with z. So we have y equals directly with x squared. So that's k, x squared, and inversely with z. You don't write k twice. So you just have k times x squared and then divided by z. 
All right, so those are how you write variation equations, which will be important when we get to writing them when solving for a constant. From a table, is this direct or inverse? So there's a couple of ways you can do this. I'll do the first one, you can do the second one. Um, one thing you could do is test for direct or inverse. So your direct, remember, is y is equal to kx, and inverse is y is equal to k over x. So one thing you could do is plug x and y into the equations and find k to see if k is the same. So, instead of doing 20 equals 5x and then divide both sides by 5, and then 16 is equal to um, k4 and then divide both sides by 4 and trying to come up with your k every time, let's think about what k equals. So, if we're going to be finding the k, Let's just write the k equation. So if we were going to get k by itself, we would just divide both sides by x. So k is equal to y over x. And if we were to get k by itself over here, we would multiply x to both sides. So k is equal to x times y. So really what you need to do is just divide y by x and see what you get. And if they are the same for every single one of them, it's direct. If not, you try multiplying them. And if that gives you the same for all of them, it's inverse. And if it doesn't work for either of them, it's none. So, y divided by x. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4. They are all the same. So k is equal to 4, which means this is direct. Okay? We'll try that again. 20 divided by 1 is 20. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 divided by 4 is 5 fourths. So this is not direct. Let's go try inverse. k is equal to xy. 1 times 20 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. So when we multiply x and y, we get k. So k is equal to 20, and this one is inverse. All right, now if you tried both of those, if you tried dividing 20 by or y by x and then multiply x and y, and none of them have the same pattern, that just means that they're not very, or there's uh, no variation at all. All right, last three questions. Now we're going to take it up to its highest level for now. What we're going to do is not only write an equation for specific data, we're going to use it to find more. So this first example says that y varies inversely with x. x is equal to 2 when y is equal to 5. We're going to find k, we're going to write an equation, and then we're going to find y when x is equal to 5. So we're going to do three things. So step one, inversely y is equal to k over x. Plug in what we know. So 5 is equal to k over 2. Solve for k, so we multiply both sides by 2 and we get k is equal to 10. Step 1, done. Step 2, write the equation. Now this is the specific equation for this problem. So y is equal to k over x, but now we know k is 10. So y is equal to 10 over x. That's the specific equation for this problem. Finally, we're going to use that to find y when x is equal to 5. So y is equal to 10 over, substitute 5 in for x, and we get y is equal to 2. Done. So that's a three-part problem where you use a variation equation, plug in what you have to find k, use that k to write a new equation, and then use that new equation to find other values. Okay? That's exactly what we need to do. So why don't you pause the video and try these next two and see if you can come up with all of these on your own. Press play when you're ready. We'll see how you did.
x varies directly with x. Well, there's our first typo. That should be y varies directly with x. I hope you caught that. If not, that's probably why you couldn't answer that question. So, y varies directly with x. So y is equal to kx. Plug in what you know. 10 is equal to 20k. Divide both sides by 20. You should have a k value of 1 half. Step 1, done. Now write the equation. y is equal to 1 half x. That is your direct variation equation for this problem. Finally, use that. y is equal to 40. So we're going to find x. So half of what number gives you 40? Just multiply both sides by the reciprocal to get x by itself, and you get x is equal to 80. And now that guy is done. Last one, z varies jointly with x and y. So z is equal to kxy. Plug in our information, 24 is equal to k times 3 and 4. So that's 12, divide both sides by 12, and k is equal to 2. Write our equation. z is equal to 2 times x and y. Use it to find z when x is negative 2 and z is 3. So z is equal to 2 times a negative 2 times a positive 3, and z is equal to a negative 12. All right, there goes your video on variation. Um, pretty simple when you think about it. All you're really doing is manipulating equations. Um, just make sure you know how, what it means when I say find k versus write an equation. If I tell you on a quiz or a test to write an equation for the direct variation and you just write k equals one half, you will not receive credit. An equation means you give the whole thing. All right, this is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.